Green flag, green flag. Time to start. You got one inside. That's test. No matter how Still good there. Hold the line. Clear low, clear low. Starts. You got There's one inside. Part of you. Stay high. Clear low, clear low. Inside. Still there. Hold your line. Stay high. Clear low, clear low. You got one inside. Clear low, clear low. Inside, all clear, all clear. All good. I haven't, uh, haven't recorded the race in a while. Uh, I have been playing, I just haven't been recording. Uh, so this is the new, the mini stocks. Uh, probably one of my favorite cars. I like it better on a shorter track. Uh, here they get a little, uh, I think because of the gearing, and you can't obviously get a change of gearing, but uh, they kind of bog mid corner. I don't know if other people are downshifting. I can't imagine they are. This is too much of a. That was your fastest lap of the session. The car in P2 just set the fastest lap 23.748. busy watching the car in front of me and not where I'm at on the track there. Go a bit faster than I thought I wanted to. I would have wanted to. It's kind of the, one of the, I don't want to say difficult, but one of the things about being, you're racing close like this is that obviously you're not always looking at the whole track, right? You're looking at the car in front of you and so you're kind of basing your, your braking and everything off of that guy. Sometimes you run into back though, because you know, split second. The leader just did a twenty three point nine two. I was gonna say though, as on shorter tracks than this, this car will actually kind of move around and get loose and it's kind of put a controllable loose which is a lot of fun uh the regular street stocks I, I, are tend to be more snap loose i find than uh than these these are kind of a control maybe because they're it's a i think it's a four cylinder if i'm not mistaken uh 200 spot horsepower but it feels more Not watching behind me. Those guys, uh, somebody was a lot closer to me not too long ago. Somebody got spun or what? I think the eight is trying to get past the six, and the six is probably holding the both of us up here. Sometimes. So sometimes we get to the corner about as fast as I'm comfortable doing. And how much you want to let her roll through the corner, I guess. You can't see it, but I'm running uh, an old uh, black, black and gold uh, Rusty Wallace paint scheme in this one. Makes it look like a Ford Mustang. I don't really know what the street stocks are, or these mini stocks are based off of. Like the actual, like I, I see, and it, maybe this is on purpose, I see like little bits of different cars. But I could definitely see it being a, like a notchback Mustang as well. But then sometimes I feel like, oh, that's a, that's a old Nissan Sentra. So I, I don't really know. It really depends on, I guess, uh, what decals they put on it. it was, once I got this paint scheme and they had the Mustang, uh, uh, decals on it. I was like, oh yeah, okay. I see that. 
the leader just did a 24.222. Well, I ran faster than the leader there, uh, which means either he's burning up his tires, which is possible. Uh, or, I don't know, maybe he messed up a lot, messed up a turn, but... I've noticed that more lately, and I haven't been recording, is uh, I tend to be good later into a run. I'm, I'm generally much more tire conscious, which is not, it's not helpful in uh, short races. It helps at the end of the races if you've got time to reel somebody in, but usually I'm I'm so much slower off the hop that I don't have to. You start you start hearing all oh, your catching, your catching, your catching, but like you don't have time. Like they, they uh, I'd say boot scoot boogie ahead of you and you're gone. downfalls is I'm like, ah, that's a dangerous position. I'm not going to myself in that. Uh, I don't know why. It's not a real car. It's not real money. But I know we, I know for the most part, all of us here in iRacing take this seriously. We're all paying a subscription to, to do this. So, like, I don't want to ruin somebody's race. I know, yes, you just exit you go do another race, but like, I don't know. Like, I, I in my head, it's a simulation. Like, I want to I'm simulating this a real race, and that that guy paid real money for that car, even though I know he didn't. And I know not everybody drives that way either, right? Like, and I don't always drive that way. Sometimes I'm, I make a bonehead move, <laughs> but never on purpose. I don't think, unless the somebody did a bonehead move. Sometimes. Okay, so the six is going for the pass on the three. Kind of slowed us all up there. He's a good big pass. Pushing, pushing off the corner now. I think I, I maybe a little too much a couple times there. Ooh, to the eight, move the six. Exciting race here going. Then this is the other thing. Oh, oh, I'm gonna assume someone moved somebody. Although I would say the eight was pretty patient with the six. For a while. Be pretty happy with a top five here. I, I know I'm like I'm ranked four, and not to say I can't, you know, I, I wouldn't put a move in the last couple laps here. I, I'm not gonna get up to the leader, like, I'm not running that fast. I'm just trying to conserve if I, if I could stay in this group here, conserve tires, which I feel like I am thus far. Maybe I can make a pass or two you know, in the last little bit. We're coming up on the... Uh, the leader just did a 24.254. So he's running back. He's running a 24.3. So... 
I'm gonna say that 124.2 is an anomaly. So far from the beginning of the race, we're about, about half a second fall off over uh, We have 10 to go this time. Go. The thing I've really noticed with, and, and, and obviously this is going to be one of those things that if anybody, anybody actually watches this, it's going to be like, duh. That if you have to lift after you've gone to the throttle, you're better off holding and rolling the corner a little bit longer than than on the gas off the gas. I don't know, like it, it just I noticed you, you lose a lot of time on off rather than just let it roll until it's set and get it going. And I know, like I've I've heard racers say that before, like don't get on the gas so you're on the gas. So obviously that's why. But you really notice, especially in lower horsepower cars, it's it, it's really very momentum based. Right, like if I lift here, that ruins the whole whole stretch. There's no, I don't have enough power to just catch it back up. And ob and and usually, it does that when I when I lift is because it's pushing. In this case, and not there's not enough power to get it loose in this track at least. So you're, you're lifting to keep from hitting the fence, which costs you way more speed, obviously. <laughs> but uh, it is interesting, especially in, in lower horsepower cars like this, how that how that happens. And even there, I, 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 I lifted, I cracked it, but I didn't come all the way out, so I, don't, I think maybe that made a difference. So these two are going to race three and the eight. I'm just going to slow them down. The six and I are catch him, probably, unless they, you know, it's one of those things where you want to race side by side, but it slows you down so much, it, it pinches the guy on the bottom, he doesn't get the run off, the guy on the outside is it, not the preferred lane, he has enough run off one. to keep him there well. beside At the same time here, I'm watching, right? I'm, I'm, I'm watching, is this a wreck rate waiting to happen? And well, those two kind of pull back, the eight pull back in. That's the thing, he went for the pass. And you've almost, at a track like this, you have to, you got to be aggressive and move a guy. You don't want to, always. You want to try and pass the guy clean, but it's so hard. Because there's not, you don't have, I don't want to say the power or whatever, but then there's also not the, you know, oh, if I get to the gas sooner... I don't know. Like it's just, it's so hard to race side by side. You gotta, you gotta make the pass and you gotta go, right? You gotta, unfortunately, or, or fortunately for short track people, like you gotta bump and run. Two laps to go. Well, it came up quick. Two laps to go. See right there. He's, he's major blocking there. Which. I all right. I right. You can do that. There's. I. I almost promise you, there's going to be a wreck here, though. And so I'm like. All right, man. White flag, get the line. You want to be close because you want to pass them when the opportunity arises. And I've had the opportunity to arise here, and I just. If I do it, there's going to be a wreck because like that. I don't think the six here in front of me is going to leave me the room to do that either. But, hey, you know what? Top five. Ran clean. That was good to me. Let's see. I want to see if the six hits the eight. There's a checkered flag. He does flag. not. Did not. Okay. Great job, driver. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.